Hey everybody, Matt here, and uh, I've got Willet three-year estate rye, and uh, this is just some awesome, awesome juice. Uh, it's the Friday before the Kentucky Derby, and I can't think of a better thing to sip on than this distillery that's been around for a long time, mothballed for a while, but then roaring back to life and producing spirits this delicious, this profound, uh, it's just amazing. So this is a combination, mostly of their 74% mash bill rye, blended with a little bit of their 51% mash bill rye, aged for three years on site, metal clad rick houses, and then uh, bottled at 111 proof, non-chill filtered. So the nose on this, is worth the money alone. Um, get like spruce, um, forest, fennel, anise. I even get like, you get like a little bit of like, you get desert air, you get ocean breeze. You literally get like, you literally get like landscape in the nose on this thing. Let's taste it. Mmm. Okay, fresh baked bread, um, cinnamon. I get like, I get like almost like muffin crumbles, if that makes sense, some sweetness to it. But then there's also some saltiness to it. There's like olive brine there. Uh, there's almond paste. Mm. And then the finish. It's just that combination of pininess, leather, and sweetness. It's just, it dries at, it dries so nice and beautifully, very subtle. Um, you know, M&Ms in your Chex Mix. It's got sweet, salty, savory. It just has everything. Um, so on the rocks, I tried this, great. Uh, in a Manhattan, this thing is stunning. If you're going to do a traditional Manhattan, uh, you need a rye, you need a barrel proof rye, and these low barrel proofs, these 111s, non-chill filtered, three-year-old estate, this is mature whiskey. It doesn't need to be another year old. It doesn't need to be nine years old. It doesn't need to be 20 years old. I wouldn't want to drink it at 20 years old. This is fresh, young, alive, sweet, salty, uh, evocative, delicious whiskey. This is what whiskey is all about. This is why... I enjoy drinking it uh, every day. Cheers.